Welcome back guys to another video. My name is Marcos and today we're gonna take a look at uh, two new devices that we got here at Boost Mobile. Uh, we have two new Samsungs. One's called the Samsung Galaxy A51. And then we have this new one. It's called the Samsung Galaxy A12. Just in case you're wondering about the specs and stuff. So we're gonna unbox them. We're gonna show you what's inside. We're gonna tell you about the specs. So uh, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Drop a like as it helps out the channel. All right, guys, so here we have both phones. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy A51 on the left, the Samsung Galaxy A12 on the right. Here's what we get from these phones. In the box, we only get a regular uh, type, type C, USB type C charger, about three feet long, fast charger, nothing crazy, no headphones on either phone. Uh, here on the left, the Samsung Galaxy A51, we can see that we have four cameras and a flash. We have this cool color. It, it does have like this kind of rainbow effect as you uh, put it in the sunlight or into the light. Looks pretty cool, looks premium. Uh, it feels like plastic, hard plastic with a glass or something like that, nothing crazy. Um, here in the front, we do have a uh, the display. It's a 6.5 inch uh, Super AMOLED display. In the front facing camera, we do have what's a 32 megapixel camera, selfie camera. And then I forgot to mention that the main camera in the, in the back is a 48 megapixel camera. So 48 megapixel main camera in the back. And then on the right side, we, we do have the A12. We also have four cameras. The main camera being a 16 megapixel camera. Uh, we have like this texture back. You can tell it's plastic. It does have a flash right there on the side and the Samsung logo. In the front, we do also have a 6.5 inch display it's called an infinity b and it's a 60 hertz uh display so about the same size just the body's a little bigger on the on the on the 812 but both are supposed to be 6.5 inches so um front facing camera in the front here it is an 8 megapixel camera here in the top built into the display no buttons um Samsung 812 does have a, a, the power button here and also has a fingerprint sensor right there so you can lock your phone with your fingerprint. We also have the power, uh, the volume and up and down rocker right there. On the left we do have the SIM card slot opener, we do have a microphone on the top and then we have the type C port and headphone jack and speaker. Similar, similar design to the A51. Uh, this one does have the, the power button right here. The only main difference, this one has a fingerprint sensor on the display itself. And then uh, we also have the SIM card slot opener here. We have the, a little microphone hole here. And we also have a headphone jack and a type C port and then the speaker. So similar design, um, just the body on this one's a little bigger, but same size displays. All right, so Samsung Galaxy A51 built in under the hood. We do have 128 gigs memory. The phone does use about uh, 21 gigs off the back. So right off the back, you're gonna be short 21 gigs. So you get about what, about 104 gigs for storage in the phone itself. This phone does have a 45 milliamp battery. So they advertise it about two to three day battery. Um, I don't think that's true. It's probably less if you use it a lot for apps and stuff like that. So um 128 gigs built in it does have a 4 gig ram processor and also running it's also running an octa-core processor built in so 4 gigs of ram with an octa-core processor and it's running android 10 right off the back i'm sure it's going to be upgradable to android 11 but um yeah it's a solid device i mean it's pretty high end like i said just with the cameras itself you get 48 megapixel camera you get a 32 megapixel front facing camera for the selfie so not bad at all and now let's check out the a12 so for the 812 itself, uh, this one does run um, a 5,000 milliamp battery. So you do get the bigger battery because probably because you get a little bigger shell on the phone. So maybe they fit a little bigger battery. Uh, but yeah, so 45 milliamp battery on the A51 and then the 812 does have what's called a 5,000 milliamp battery. So about two to three days according to uh, what Samsung says. And then um, built in on the storage for this phone, you do get 32 gigs of built in memory and then you get a three gig RAM process, three gigs RAM. All right guys, so let's take a look at the camera. So this does have what it says, a 48 megapixel camera. So there's different types of pictures that we can take. Uh, this is like more of a ultra wide, 
uh, old room picture. So that's the whole store right now. And as we can, as we zoom in, all the cameras are working together to take a better picture. And it's only getting better as we zoom in. I mean, so that's too much zoom, but um, it's it's up there. I mean, that's up there. And then looking at it right here, I mean, we're really close. So let's see if we can uh, zoom in all the way. So if we were to zoom in all the way, just on my camera like this, but then if you're zooming all the way, I mean, I think this is this this kind of zoom is more for maybe like when you're outside, nature, stuff like that, as we can almost see the house and that car outside. And right here's a regular shot. And then this is with all the zoom uh, in. So very cool, very nice design. Uh, the camera does pack a bunch of features. So like, let's say you want to take different type of pictures, uh, you would hit more and it does offer pro panorama macro food night live focus super slow motion slow motion and hyperlapse so very cool features built in on the camera and i think it's uh this is this is close to like a galaxy 9 galaxy 10 so not bad this phone does retail for 400 dollars with boost mobile right now if you're an eligible upgrade customer you can get this for 200 dollars. and if you switch over and you get the $60 plan, you can get it for $100 when you switch over. So it's a nice deal if you're looking to switch over to uh, Boost. The only downfall from switching to Boost right now, uh, this model does not have 5G as the Metro by T-Mobile model does, but we got the 4G one. So similar, you say maybe 50, 60 bucks on price of the phone, but not bad at all. Here's a camera on the Galaxy A12. As you can see, the brightness is not that great. Uh, let's see if we can, this one has a 16 megapixel main camera. You can see it doesn't pick up color as much as the other one. Uh, it looks more pale. It does have a nice zoom. So that's, this is what we're looking at and you know, pretty close and then we can see that car out there so zoom's pretty good it's just not the brightest picture and i think it does have a feature where you can uh fix the contrast so if you need more contrast or more brightness i think you mess around with this little lever uh let me see if i can go back and you can make the room brighter if you need to and stuff like that so that's pretty cool or darker 16 megapixel camera compared to the 48 megapixel camera and A51. This phone does retail for 180 regular price and it is free if you switch over to Boost. So it's a nice entry level device because you get 32 gigs. And then uh, if you're an eligible customer, I think you get it for 140 or 129.99 or something like that right now at the moment with Boost Mobile. So not bad at all either. Um, for upgrade price, I would spend $200 and go A51. So now we're gonna do a quick sound test. Let's see how loud this device is. We're gonna play some non-copyright music. Hopefully we don't get a strike, but let's see how, uh, how good it sounds and how good it looks. So right now we're at right here. And let's go all the way up. So it's nice smooth sound it doesn't sound crazy but it's nice you can tell it's coming from the bottom pretty loud i'd probably give it about a nine eight or nine for loudness not bad at all and then uh so this play looks beautiful though look at that it's play let's see if we can change the song i'm probably gonna get an ad Not bad at all. So pretty loud, like I said, about an eight or nine, depending on the type of music. All right, so now we do have the Samsung Galaxy A12. We're gonna test out the sound. Uh, let's put it in the middle and let's hit play. So that's the music playing right now. The screen's a little more dull. It's not as shiny as the Super AMOLED on the A51. And then now let's go up in price. So you do lose some some sound. This one's probably about a seven out of ten. The A fifty one's about a seven or or eight maybe. But this one, you can tell it's a little less. So 
Maybe we can fast forward the song, put something else. Tell the sounds coming from out here. Yeah, about a seven, guys. Seven in the sound test. So not bad at all. All right, guys, so that was a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy A12 and the Samsung A51. Don't wanna to go too crazy with the video as it'll be too long. But like I said, my name is Marcos. So if you have any questions, uh, these phones are selling great. This one retails for 400, but it's selling great at $200 for customers that are upgrading or customers that are buying a new line, so not bad at all. And then that's the A51 that I'm talking about. And then the Samsung Galaxy A12 is also selling great because it's also free when you switch over. But 180 for an upgrade price is not bad. I believe upgrade price is 130 right now, but 180 for full retail price and you get this phone, it's not that bad at all. So like I said, my name is Marcos. Don't want to make the video too long. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.